main message, you know, that I've I've gone over really is having the right attitude is extremely important. Okay, and our attitude, you know, is ours and ours alone. My coach used to say it was like a t-shirt. You can change your attitude at any point. I'm sure everyone's parents said to them when they were small, you got out of bed on the wrong side today. Guess what? Get back in, get back out the other side. Okay, because when you get to thinking about it, there's worse things going on than having to come to maybe a sales conference or even something more severe like breaking your neck. There are worse things in life. The bottom line is, I had a very bad injury. Okay, a lot of my body doesn't work. My body's been quite badly damaged physically, but in no way has it been damaged mentally, and in no way has my heart been damaged. Okay, so that perspective is a really important thing to have. Have the right attitude to go forward and then take action, do something. I'm gonna let you into a little secret now as an inspirational speaker. I don't like inspiration. I think inspiration is a waste of time. Did we all do physics at school? We're all aware of potential energy and kinetic energy. Potential energy is energy that's just stored and just sits there. That's inspiration. That will slowly dissipate and move away unless you do something with it. I'm more about motivation. I want you, if you're just inspired by this, I've failed, I need you to go and do something and act. It doesn't have to be much, but it has to be a start to take action. And that requires a mindset and an attitude. Beyond that, I know you all know about hard work. <coughs> so we've spoken about our attitude, we've spoken about our mindset, we've spoken about working hard. Now the smart part, I can't tell you the intricacies of that because I'm not a salesperson. But how do you make the small changes just to make yourself slightly better? Because you don't have to be much better than everyone else, you just have to be a little bit better.